Hi, this is Top Tip Tuesday, and on today's video, we've got a bit of a hidden gem, actually. This is a modifier that enables you to instigate layers of spawning, one after the other after the other, with particles with only one emitter. So it's simple to set up and we can get some really powerful and quick effects with the modifier XP Multispawn. So let's start up Cinema 4D and we'll start the clock. In our scene then we have got these arrow particles and let's say that we want to set up layers of spawning. So these arrows spawn into new particles and then the new particles spawn and then the new ones spawn and we can do that as many times as we like. We're going to do it using, if we go to our modifiers menu, to the generate modifiers, we're not going to use XP spawn, which is the usual one people are used to that requires its own spawning emitter. We're going to use XP multi-spawn. So let's bring that in. Now XP multi-spawn doesn't need its own dedicated emitter. It comes in with levels of spawning and by default there's just one level. So let's open it up. And if we leave this in default and hit play, you're going to see, look, we've got some spawning right at the beginning of our scene. So what's happened? Well, it's spawned for every source particle. It's spawned 10 more. It's happened when the spawn particles are zero, when they're first born, and it's done it for one frame. So let's start this when the source particles are, say, 50 frames old, and we'll see it a bit more clearly. So there's our source particles, and at 50 frames, we get our um, new particles. Let's put this down to just five. Now the particle life is inherited by the emitter here. The direction is random spherical, but we want them to be moving pretty much in the same direction as the source. So we do that by changing it from random to relative to source particle. And if we do that, they'll be going exactly the same direction as the source particle until the turbulence starts moving them a little differently. But if we add a little bit of spread here, and hit play, you'll see that they have that source particle direction, but they just spread off a bit. It's a bit like a motion inheritance look, which is nice. So the real power of multi-spawn is that we can layer this up. So now we can spawn from these new ones. So let's do that. Uh, in fact, look, let's kill the source particle before we set up the next layer. So the original particles, these ones, as soon as they spawn, they're killed. And these are all of the new ones. OK, so let's close up layer one. Now we want to do another lot of spawning. So let's add another level, open it up. And again, we don't want this to happen immediately. We want this to happen when our new particles are about maybe 30 frames old. Let's put 30. We'll put the spawn count just to five. And again, we'll change that spawn particle direction from spherical to relative but then put a lot of spread. So there'll be quite a lot of random direction here, but it'll feel related to their source particles direction. So again, it'll feel like it's got a bit of motion inheritance. So that's looking pretty cool. Let's say, or let's just kill the source particle as well when that spawn happens. So let's say now we don't want these to be arrows. We want these to be maybe a different display type to make it look like they're exploding. Well, we can use particle groups to do that. So let's go to our emitter, to the groups tab. We're gonna hold control and alt and that's going to ena enable us to be able to click this multiple times. So let's click one, two, three. So we've got three particle groups. And we want at first for the emitter to only put the particles in group one. So to do that, we have to have the mode set to first group only. Excellent. So now back to our multi-spawn. In our level two, we can say put the new particles into a specific group. So let's put them into particle group two. And in particle group two, we'll change the display mode from arrows to squares. So now we'll hit play. We're going to get our first spawn, which would be arrows. Second spawn, yes, we've got squares. Excellent. Let's go back to multi-spawn. We'll do one more level of spawning. So let's add another level. We'll do a count of, say, 100. Now this one, we want these to be tiny little dots. So we're going to do 100 after age, I don't know, let's say... 20 and we want we the, the particle life we now want these ones to die off so we'll, we'll kill the source particle and we want to set the life and it'll be say just 20 frames with maybe 10 frame five frames variation and again the spawn particle direction let's have it relative but with lots of spread 
And before we do this, at the moment, these will be, let's have a look, at the display type of these are back to arrows because we haven't specified a group. So let's drag in particle group three into our level three. And in particle group three, let's change the editor display from arrows to dots. Now hit play, and we have got three levels of spawning. One, two, three, and we've got that explosion, and our arrows are now disintegrating, all with one modifier and one emitter, and that is XP multi-spawn.